Jay. And what these haters talking about? And what these suckers talking about? Hey, yo, what's good with everybody, man? I hope everybody's having a productive day. Feel them blessing, like I always say, is one life, one chance. We only got one chance to do this right. Let's get it done. So, with that being said, man, the other day I dropped a video and uh, I dropped a short. I meant to delete the short, but I accidentally deleted the video when it was already at 10,000 views. Can't re upload it. So, um, on to the next one. Y'all see the thumbnail? Let's talk about it. So with that being said, hit that subscribe button, hit that like, always leave a comment. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section. Check the links in the description for my Apple and Spotify music. Go ahead and run my streams up and you can check out my playlist section for all Casper's interviews all in one and my music. Thank you guys for you guys' time. Most importantly, thank you guys for you guys' support. Now let's talk about 55th Street, homie. The big homie Crip Mac, the, the Crip General. The general of neighborhood, whatever, however he ad identifies himself, man. Look, man, the harsh reality of it is, um, I don't talk smack about other people. I try not to, at least. I try to be funny about it. But dude, dude's characteristic is something else. Yes, I wanted to collab with him when I first was wanted to blow up. Yes, after seeing his his antics and his personality all over YouTube, I can see why people gravitate to get them on their platform to mess with him. You know, dude. He's popping right now. He's a trending topic. Dude has just a way with his personality. Obviously, he's doing big moves, man. Moves that I hope I could be doing in the near future. But in doing so, those same big moves that I see him doing that I wish I could be doing in the near future, like with uh, Cap Capone and uh, big platforms want to interview me. Dude doesn't talk about much. Dude doesn't, dude doesn't have an intelligent chromosome in his membrane. Everything is with 55th or keep it fit or 55th Avenue and 55th stacks of everything is just with numbers with that guy, man. You know, he should have took a numerology class. That's all I know. So what I seen that blew my mind, like I said, I don't like a lot. I know a lot of subscribers always try to shoot me prison topics and prison genre channels. I like, look what they're talking about. But I'm, I'm, I'm trying to get past that. So I watched the haters world. And he did a reaction off Crip Mac, Crip Mac being the next Tony the Wizard, a scammer. I was like, interesting. I like scam artists. I'm very interested in scam artists. Let me see how he's scamming the people. So in doing so, I watched the video. I watched the Hater World's reaction, Blue Devil. And they, well, from what I caught, look, I'm going to just give it to you how I was able to digest it. Because remember, we're talking about Crip Mac here. But obviously... A platform that was coming up wanted to pay Crip Mac to, to be a guest, you know, get their numbers up, get the views up. Hey, they were invested in themselves. So they hit him up. They show all the screenshots of the conversation they had with Crip Mac. And he's like, man, I'm going to need like 500, you know, 5,500. So they were willing to pay this individual $500 for him to appear on their show. I mean, that's a far reach. I get it. A lot of people on YouTube, a lot of celebrities, a lot of big names, you know, they charge for appearances. They try. I know it's part of the music industry. I know it's part of big businesses, but we're, we're YouTubers. Crip Mac to me is just another YouTuber and a, and a gang member from his neighborhood who, who just went viral all over YouTube. People want to talk about him. People want to meet him. People want him as a guest. I get that. Capitalism and a monopoly, you know, it, it should only work for certain people, not everybody. I'm not going to become that kind of person. But anyways, so I see him messaging the platform back and forth. But it was like, you know, it was iffy, you know, uh, China Mac was, I guess his manager was trying to say no deal or no deal, you know, no deal or no deal this. And hey, we can't do it around this time or we need this more money. Then Crip Max like, I need another 250 And then the day of... He was supposed to show up for the interview after he already got paid, got into do DMs and like, I'm going to need a little bit more money. And that's as far as I watched it. I don't know how it turned out. I really don't know the outcome of it. I don't know if he made an appearance on that show. I didn't even watch the rest of Blue Devil's um, reaction video. Only on the basis that what caught my attention was the Tony A and uh, the Crip Mac scammers. And I'm like, bro, this is becoming a an another trending topic to me. It's just... So I sat here and I thought to myself, and I was like, for, for one, I, I, I'm only big in a sense where I know I have all the subscribers. You know, I haven't collabed with a lot of people. I'm not trying to be big in a sense where I get away from my channel, I get away from my topics, and I get away from my audience when I'm just focusing on becoming a bigger person, a bigger personality, a bigger star all over YouTube with different uh, channels and different uh, collaborations. 
you know, that, that might be a goal in mine, but I'm not going to lose sight of my actual purpose and meaning with my channel and my connection to my people. At the end of the day, my audience is going to get me big. Like I've always said, if I, these other, these other YouTubers don't want to collab with me, if these other interviewees and the podcasts don't want to collab with me, fine, we can build it right here. I just got to work a little harder, but I'll be damned if I reach a point just being a YouTuber, since I know pretty much the music industry, that's a, that's a far reach, man. That's like reaching in the sky with a bunch of stars. I'm not going to become that big where I'm going to say, man, you want me on your platform? Just because I became a trending topic, just because I'm a big name and start charging people for it. No, I'm going to be making enough money on YouTube to pay for my own expenses to get there and get back. I'm going to make enough money on YouTube that I don't need another man's money, especially if, especially if it's a small channel wanting to blow up and they want to use me like everybody else does. By all means, I'm going to go and encourage people to go check it out. I'm going to encourage people to go subscribe to that channel. And I'm going to encourage that channel itself. I may continue to prosper, man. It took me a long time to prosper and I grew and I've grew tremendously. I've learned a lot. I'm still learning a lot, but we can all grow together, man. There's plenty of... Plenty of advertising money to go around, bro. We ain't got to backbite off each other, step on each other. We ain't got to burn each other. We ain't got to hate on each other. There's money to be made all over YouTube. Let's get it. But you're starting to see that a lot more. You know, the Chicano rap thing was the first topic that I talked about when it comes to scammers. This individual alone, you know, he's charging people just to, to talk to the individual. I mean, I can see if you're Joe Rogan or something. I can see if you were just a smart individual where you can really just have a great conversation Dude's over here calling out Adam22 having, for having a conversation with a transsexual that mentioned Crip Mac. Now he wants to fade. Now it's going to be a, a heavyweight boxing match, pay-per-view live. We're going to make hella money off it. Let's see if Adam22 does it. Like, bro, miss me with all that, man. I just sat there and looked at that video like, man, that's the person I'm not going to become. You know, if somebody wants to collab with me, oh, man, you're in a different state. Well, guess what? By you inviting me to a platform in a different state, you just gave me the opportunity to, to, to travel the world to bring my family to see the world, for me to see the world, to collab with a different podcast and, you know, help people grow. We can all grow together. We can all help each other out, create a network of connections, open up bigger doors for myself. Then I'm going to come back home, get right back to YouTube, make the money that I spent from YouTube advertisers, not the people, and just go about my life. You know, I look at everything like as an opportunity that I need to bank on. That's why I say I'm going to invest in myself. But I'm like, I'll be damned if I reach a point where I'm going to just start charging people and charging for meet and greets like Chris Brown does, $1,000 to take a picture with them. Like, nah, man, you see me in traffic, bro, and you catch me slipping in public, and you're cool with me, and you want to take a picture, you want to have a drink, I'm going to drink a soda, though. That's it. We can, we can have that time. You know, I just met somebody yesterday. He walked up to me. I noticed he noticed me, but he walked up to me. He's like, man, you renegade media, right? And I was like, yeah, that's me, man. He, boo, I boo crap you now, and I hope he watches this video. He gave me a hug, and I gave him a hug right back. Like, hey, man, nice to meet you, man. Thank you for your support. And I went about my way and was playing video games. You know, I'm a cool individual. I'm a humble individual, and I plan to stay humble, not be charging people. So well, here's what I wanted to do. See, when I used my YouTube money, when I started getting big YouTube money, I bought the Cricut. I bought the, uh, the, the, the Heat Press. So, yes, I'm doing little Torta Lover t-shirts here and there for people. I've given them to people. I do a lot of cups. I just sent out eight cups, and I have Tawny making about a good 15 more cups within the next few weeks. All that merch that I make, yeah, it may not seem like a lot, but I do. I pay out of my a lot. A lot of people were like, "Hey, man, let me give, let me pay for the shipping at least." And I was like, "No, bro, I can do this myself." There's enough money that I save from YouTube, and I'm gonna be making a lot more money off YouTube once it starts again. This is my way of giving back to you guys. You guys done a love by just watching my videos to put that bag in my bank account. This is the least I can do. And this, to me, is not even enough. To me, this is like pennies. But I'm spending my own money, I'm buying my own merch, and I'm sending it to you guys for free in due time. If I can't send it to you, I can't send it to you. I'll make some, you hit me up again, I'll announce it again, you get back at me, say, hey man, I asked you for some. I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna remember that and I'm gonna send it to you. So I got about 15 more cups that I gotta do with 15 more shirts that I'm gonna mail out out of my expenses, out of my pocket. I'm gonna start blessing everybody and I'm gonna start showing these YouTubers like, man, don't forget who got us here. Don't forget who built these platforms. Just because our face and our personality and we're influential and we're social media presence is influential, that shit don't mean nothing. 
It don't mean nothing. The audience is that ones that come and watch us. The audience is the ones that watch some commercials. The audience is the ones that make your bank account and your name as big as it is. Don't forget that. So let me know what you guys think in the comment section. So with that being said, like I always say, it's one life, one chance. When you got one chance to do this right, let's get it done. Peace.